paint a clear vision for your team. What's up, everybody? This is Kevin Daisy here. So what I mean by paint a clear vision for your team is different than a typical mission or vision statement. So when we first came up with our vision statement, it was basically grow to a $100 million company. It's a very kind of broad and vague and probably doesn't mean much to a staff member, team member, employee. Um, they might not care. They might say, okay, Kevin and Eric, they want to make $100 million. Why does that matter to me? And they might not care. They might not resonate with it. And they might be here for a different reason. Um, but they might not give a crap about that. But you need to have a vision that they care about and understand and they can get behind. But for us, it was more, you know, we kind of knew what that could mean for everybody, but we didn't really put that into words and we didn't really communicate that well. So we actually went back to the drawing board. We talked about it, talked about it with our management team and expanded upon that. There's a great book called Vivid Vision, which is really good. Check that out. It'll help you kind of really take it to the next level. But for us, we took it to a little bit the next level by adding a few words to our vision statement, which makes it a little bit more clear to people. We want to create opportunity by becoming a $100 million powerhouse. So the opportunity part, which is a very small piece of that sentence, we took that to the team and we um, actually doing our holiday party. We're able to talk to everyone on the team and explain what that really meant. And for each team member, it might mean a different thing. So I think Eric explained it very well. We want to take everyone's dreams that works for us and fit them inside of our goal, right? So $100 million, if we got to that point, we feel like we can fit everyone's dreams into that. So opportunity for you might be traveling. Maybe it's more money. Maybe it's financial freedom. Maybe it's uh, health care, savings. Uh, maybe it's just more responsibility, leading the team. So there's a lot of different opportunities for people. And we feel like if we grow and continue to grow, that we're going to create any of those opportunities. So the lowest level person in our company now, an intern, could be 10 years from now, a C-level executive could be traveling around the country, could be opening other offices, leading regions, whatever, right? We don't know exactly what is going to happen in 10 years, but we know that we want to get to a certain place and we want to look ahead and say, I can see where we're going and we see opportunity for everyone. So that's something we did is we made a small tweak to our statement. It's not just Eric and I's vision but it should be something that the whole company can believe in, get behind and see that they have a part in that and they fit inside of that. So paint a clear vision for your team, make sure they can feel it, touch it and believe it. And then they're going to want to be part of that and they're going to be dedicated. They're going to be uh, ready to be part of the team, the culture, and it's going to work out for everyone. So look at what your mission or vision says Make sure it's clear, sit your whole team down and make sure they understand what your vision is. They can't always see what the entrepreneur sees. So make it clear, make it easy, and uh, it's going to make a big impact. If you find our episodes of value, consider taking it to the next level and check out our business growth mastermind. Go to ArrayMentors.com dot com to learn more.